Welcome back to another financial literacy series. And as a quick follow up from our last segment where we began to talk about environments and relationships, I'm gonna continue on that relationship segment because relationships are so vital to our long-term success. And as I'm thinking here, it's, it's, it's key to going to a higher level. But now, what if we can enhance the relationships that we already have? Now, one tip and one strategy that can continue to propel your financial literacy in any capacity and at any moment that you are is, is two really strategic ways. Continue to learn, continue to get information, but as you do so, the second piece of that puzzle is sharing the information and teaching other people and going on the journey together. So in this segment, I often and I challenge individuals to never limit your success to just you. All right, this may sound strange to some people, you know, is, is, is you know, bringing in Jay-Z who is a rapper, or maybe not a rapper, but a hustler who just knows how to rap. Somebody got that, but, um, but you know, who's now a business professional in addition to having creative businesses is, you know, if you're the only one at the top, you know, and everyone else and your friends and associates are not succeeding, are you really at the top, right? When, you, when, when, when you're at the top and you leave everyone else below, is, is that really, really the top or success? All right. So in this segment of the Financial Literacy Series, I challenge you to, to bring others with you, right? As you continue to build your financial wealth, build your financial well-being, build your financial building, change your mindset, share that information with other people. Share that with your friends. Do this 30 day, you know, literacy challenge with someone. Join along the journey. Once you've learned and mastered something yourself, share that with somebody else. Hey, I learned this from this video. You, this may be a good idea for you to do in relation to this topic. That's when you get to learn at a higher level. Once you've learned it and you teach it to someone else, I'm doing that right now. You know, going on, you know, going on 20 years of experience, I, I can't hold this information in. That would be completely selfish. The information that I've learned over the years, you have to give, you have to let go. Because as, as you give and as you let go, it allows for more opportunities for you to grow. So in this series, you know, in, in, and again, a lot of this is not about money. It's about attracting more money, attracting the money to you and letting the money flow to you and through you. So I challenge you to share the information. Hey, I learned this. You may want to check this out or have a referral or introduction. And there you can, you know, share a video, share a link that can open the opportunity for you all to do the series together. Now you have someone along the journey with you that you can hold accountable. So I share that with you because that will propel you to a higher level. You know, bring a friend along, someone that may be having challenges financially, someone that may be already wealthy that may want to go to a higher level or someone you may think may could use some additional resources. Just share with them. Don't let it, let it feel like an obligation, but challenge them and, and be OK if they if they say no. If they say no, again, have the right mindset to say, OK, no problem and continue on your journey. You know, the best way that you can teach someone is with the results that you show. You know, it's been said before that you can know, know, know a tree by its fruit, right? So if you produce results, if you become better, if you improve, if you enhance, that might inspire someone else to do well as well and then want to join you at a later date. But I share with you, definitely, definitely share information that you have. Don't hold it on to yourself. You know, it's about giving. It's about providing opportunities to others. And the second piece of that puzzle is maybe invite someone to, to do this journey with you. Maybe you've watched some of the videos but haven't taken all the action. Go back, rewatch those videos, and maybe invite a friend, make an introduction. There's a link to make an introduction or referral below. But, you know, use it as you wish. You can now share this information with someone else that you can join along with your journey, and now you do it together, and you both are succeeding to higher levels. And then again, the story continues. 
share with someone else, share with someone else, and all this is how every single person wins. When you're at the top by yourself, that's not really the top. But when you're at the top with your friends, your colleagues, your associates, and the people that you care about and love the most, that's when you're truly winning. So in this session of the Financial Literacy Series, share the information, bring someone else along with you for the journey, because that's when you continue to learn more, when you give more and share the information that you do have. So use it and implement it right now. And as usual, remember, you can have every single thing in life that you want, as long as you truly believe it. We'll see you soon.